Hello guys, I'm very much energetic to show you a device that I just recently designed and, and completed. Um, it's simply a device that measures high temperatures and that can reach up to a thousand degrees Celsius. This was made possible by using these K-type thermocouples. You know, the circuit supports eight thermocouples that can be connected through these tiny terminals that are here in this circuit. These are numbered from, win from one to eight. Um, and I've also used this MAX6675 that performs the conversion uh, from these low voltage devices to a voltage range that the microcontroller can understand. So it just simply can be inserted here. Uh, let me just uh, explain to you what these parts here are. Uh, this is the main PIC microcontroller that's considered the brain of, the, of this device. And it can be programmed by connecting a programmer, like this one, a PIC programmer, through the box header here, so that the hexa file can be transferred to the microcontroller without the need to remove it or take it off from the board itself. Um, another thing that this circuit supports is the serial communication through this uh, connector here. And th this is how uh, the, re the readings of the sensors are transferred to the PC so that uh, better monitoring and processing of the readings uh, can be achieved. You know, Choosing which thermocouple is to work at a time is made possible by this little chip here, which is uh, called an analog multiplexer. Uh, and it's also controlled by this PIC. In reality, this right part of the circuit is separate from the left part. However, they can be connected by using these wires, jumper wires. So, just simply insert well, the circuit is supplied by this AC adapter that can be inserted here. Now, after connecting the circuit properly, all you need to do is just to pass the current to the circuit board. This red LED means that the circuit is ready. Um, now, this board doesn't work alone. Um, it just comes with the software that was specially de developed for this device. I used the vb.net to program the GUI. Um, now I will shift to the uh, to the laptop screen so that you can see the effect in real time. Now after the circuit being ready and the current is passing to the circuit, the, you really need to choose the COM. After that you just need to start by pressing this uh, yellow button here. Once you do so, an orange LED um, lights up indicating that the data is being logged now. So, as you can see in, the, um, in this grid here, it's currently updating and all the thermocouple readings are logged. Um, here is the sample number now reaching 12 and here's the time in seconds since the system has first started and this is the reading of thermo 1, thermo 2, thermo 3 and so on until thermo 3, at uh, thermo 8. Um, so as I told you the connected ones are thermo 2, 6 and 8 and as you can see here thermo 2 is 34 which is the temperature, the room temperature and uh, thermo 6 is also the same in thermo 8. Um, from the GUI you can just choose the sensor that you really need to uh, show on, on this plot here. So you can choose for example thermo 8 and it will start plotting the actual reading of the temperatures from that sensor. Now what I'm going to do, this is the thermo 8, I will move it closer to the heatsink of the laptop. Uh, I expect that the temperature will increase when I move it to there. And you can see now that the temperature has started to rise up. 
37, 38, 39, while the other sensors keep being 33. Negative 5 means that the thermocouple is not connected. So as you can see, the temperature has reached 50 now, which is the laptop temperature. Um, and it's also expected to reach uh, 60 because the processor in my laptop is uh, working truly hard now. So if I remove it, here it is again. I can't touch it. It will be yeah hot. Then the temperature goes back down to the room temperature slowly. 53, 52. Now, this GUI um, not only logs and show, shows the, uh, this chart here, no, but it also uh, logs the data to, an, to a text file and it can be opened from this button here. And the file name is Thermodata and once you open it, you will see that all of all of the uh, actual temperatures are logged here T1, T2, T3 which means thermo 1, thermo 2, thermo uh, 4 and so on um, the data can also be copied so that you can paste them in an Excel sheet for later um, analysis Excel might be a, a very good environment for uh, plotting or producing better charts and do some analysis on the system. Um, you can also uh, stop it, stop, impose, and change the name of the file so that you can store again in another file. So in this case I have changed it to my name once you open the file you can see that the data is logged here um, yeah this is because I, I changed its name while the system was running but it's not a big deal um, you can simply stop and then clear table and clear chart and repeat the process again so this is the whole system I, I wish that you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much.